Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at solution to three questions. All three questions are from statistics, right? Two of these questions are two mark questions and one is a three mark question. Appeared as part of the sample paper given by the CBSE board, academic year 21, 22. It's a basic version of the paper. What are the concepts tested? One question is about computing median. The second one is about computing mode and the third one is about computing mean. So all three concepts have been covered. What do you need to know to solve these questions? Your ability to play around between exclusive frequent, exclusive class frequency tables to converting them into cumulative frequency and vice versa and the formula to compute median mode and mean if frequency distribution is provided to us. So once you know all of this, you should be able to get the answers to these questions, reasonably straightforward questions. If you had done reasonable practice in your class with your exercise questions, you should be able to crack this. Let's get started. An inter-house cricket match was organized and this is the distribution of runs made by them. What we need to find out is the median run scored by them, right? So we essentially have exclusive class frequency table. Median, we essentially need to start by knowing what is the cumulative frequency so that we can find out where, which class does the middle number lie? Where does n by 2 lie? So to do that, we need to convert this exclusive class, uh, class frequency table into a cumulative frequency table. So this is what we're going to be doing. So 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80, 80 to 100 is what we have. So you'll have less than 20, less than 40, less than 60, less than 80, less than 100. That's how your cumulative frequency table is going to look like. So less than 20 is 4, less than 40 is 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10. So this is 4, this is 10. Less than 60 would make it 10 plus 5, which is 15. Less than 80 will be 15 plus 3, which is equal to 18. And less than 100 would be 18 plus 4, which is equal to 22, right? So this gives us a cumulative frequency. So capital N in the formula that we'll be using is equal to 22. So the middle value N by 2 is equal to 11. So in which class is the cumulative frequency crossing 11? So 4, 10. 10, 11 to 15, all of these are in this class. So the median class for us, median class is the class which has this 11, which is equal to 40 to 60. So we have computed the value of n, the value of n by 2 using the cumulative frequency table and we have identified the class in which the median lies. So let's look at the formula to compute the median. Median is equal to L plus n by 2 minus Cf divided by F into H. Let's look at what each of these things is. L is the lower limit of the median class, which is equal to 40 for us. n by 2 is something that I computed, which is equal to 11. Let's not rewrite it. What is Cf? Cf is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. So that is equal to a 10. Cf is equal to 10. What is f? f is the frequency of the median class. Frequency of the median class, f is equal to f5. And what's the height of each class? Height of each class is equal to 20, right? The size of each interval is the height of each class. So we've got values for all of these things. Let's plug it into the formula, compute it in the next slide. So median is equal to, median is equal to L, which is 40, plus n by 2, which is equal to 11, minus the cumulative frequency of the preceding class, which is 10. So n by 2 minus 10, divided by the frequency of the median class, which is equal to 5, into the height of each of these class, which is equal to a 20. 11 minus 10 is a 1. This 5 gets cancelled with this 20 to leave us with a 4. So 1 into 4 is a 4. 40 plus 4 is equal to 44. So median or run scored by the students of this class, of this, in, of this tournament, is equal to 44. There is a second two mark question in this video. This question tests our understanding about computing mode. The mode for this frequency distribution is given to be equal to 38. What we need to find out is the value of x. What is x? x is the frequency of this class, 40 to 50, right? Let's quickly take this table to the next slide, write down the formula to compute the mode and then check out what all we have. Mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2F1 minus F0 minus F2 times H. Let's just get started with each one of these parts of the uh, formula. First thing, what we'll do is the mode is equal to 38. So this is the modal class. So modal class is needed to understand what each of these terms is. So modal class is equal to 30 to 40 because 38 is in this and the frequency of this modal class is equal to 16. L is the lower limit of the modal class. So L is equal to 30 for us. F1 is the frequency of the modal class, which is equal to 16. F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. The class preceding the modal class is 20 to 30. So frequency of that class is equal to 12. F1, F0 we know. What is F2? F2 is the frequency of the class after the modal class. The modal class is 30 to 40. The class after the modal class is 40 to 6, 50. And the frequency of that class is equal to x. This is the x that we are trying to find out. And the height of each of these classes, the interval is equal to 10. So h is equal to 10. 
we know that this mode computed value is equal to a 38. So, we can plug in 38 is equal to L we know F1, F0, F2, H we know. The only thing that we do not know is the value of F2 which is given to us in terms of a variable which is equal to X. So, plug in all of these values equated to 38, solve for it, we will get the value of X. Just do it in this slide. So, 38 which is the mode is equal to 30 which is the lower limit of the modal class plus the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the preceding class divided by 2 times the frequency of the modal class 32 minus the frequency of the preceding class minus F2 which is the frequency of the class after the modal class times the size of each interval which is equal to 10. So, 30 goes to the left hand side, we will have an 8 is equal to 16 minus 12 which is equal to 4, 32 minus 12 which is a 20 minus x times 10 is what we have. So, take the 20 minus x to the left hand side numerator and the 8 to the denominator, 4 into 10 is a 40. So, we will have 20 minus x is equal to 40 divided by 8 which is equal to a 5. So, x is equal to 20 minus 5 which is equal to 15. So, frequency of the class after the modal class is equal to 15, the value of x is equal to 15. So, all that we needed to do to solve this question is to know the formula to compute the mode. Right. At least in the earlier question, we had to compute the cumulative frequency table, even that was not required as far as this question goes. More to the next question, which is a 3 mark question. In this question, we will have to compute the mean. What we actually have here, if you look at the table, less than 10, less than 20, so on and so forth. This clearly tells us that we have been given a cumulative frequency table. We need to compute the mean. Data given is age wise chart of 300 passengers has been given. We will have to compute their average age. So, first step that we are going to do is that we are going to make this cumulative frequency table into an exclusive class table, right. We are doing exactly the opposite of what we did with the first question in this video. There we had exclusive class frequency table. From there we actually computed the cumulative frequency table. Here we are doing the opposite. Let us get started. So, less than 10 we have 14 people. So, the 0 to 10 age group is 14. Now, look at this table, less than 20 is 44, less than 10 out of them is 14. So, 10 to 20 should be the difference between these two, which is 44 minus 14, which is equal to 30. So, number of passengers in the 10 to 20 will be equal to 30. Quickly run through this, now that we have understood what is actually happening for the next ones. Less than 30 is 82, less than 20 is 44. So, 82 minus 44 should give us the number of people in the 20 to 30 age bracket. 82 minus 42 would have been 40, this 44, so that is going to be equal to 38. So, you have 38 passengers in this. 30 to 40, right, I think I have to, 30 to 40, less than 40 is 134, less than 30 is 82. So, this is going to be equal to a 52. 40 to 50, less than 50 is 184, less than 40 is 134, easy calculation. So, this is equal to 40 to 50 is 50, right. What we have is less than 60 is 245, less than 50 of them is 184. So, this is equal to a 61 will be between 50 and 60, 51 between 50 and 60, 60 and 70, less than 70 is 287, less than 60 is 245. So, this is going to be equal to uh, 245 plus 40 is 285, 42 is what we have in this. And the last one, 300 people less than 80 of which 287 are less than 70. So, 70 to 80 will be the balance which is equal to 13. So, we have found out the frequency for each of these age intervals. Now, look at it, the cumulative this value, even, we do not even have to add, we know that there are 300 passengers. So, this part is done. If you recall the formula to compute the uh, mean given cumulative frequency table, uh, uh, exclusive class frequency table will be sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi. So, we need to find out xi. What is xi? xi is going to be the mean for each of these class intervals. The mean for each of these class intervals is a middle value 0 plus 10 by 2 which is equal to 5, 20 plus 10 plus by 2 which is equal to 15, so on and so forth. So, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. Let us compute Fi Xi for each of these intervals. 14 into 5 is equal to 700, 30 into 15 is, 14 into 5 is 70, not 700, right. 30 into 15 is equal to 450. 38 into 25, 40 into 25 is 1000, this is going to be equal to 950. 35 into 50 is 1750 plus another 70, 2 times 35, which is going to make it as 1820. 45 into 50 is easy, that is 2250. 55 into 60 is 3300, 3355 is what we will have here, right. 
42 into 65, 65 into 40 is 2600 plus another uh, 130 which is 2730 and lastly 75 into 12 is 900, this is 975. So, this calculation takes a while, we do not have a choice, let us do it, let us add this up, find out sigma f x i, let us add up to this tens first and then add the hundred subsequently, 70 plus 50, 120, 170, 190, 240, 295, 325, 400 is what we have, let me write the two zeros and carry the four out here, there is no hundred here, 800, 1700, 3500, 5700, this is 5700 plus uh, 9000, 9000, 9000 plus 2700 is 11700, 12600 is what we have. So, 12600 is sigma f i x i, we know sigma f i is equal to 300. So, mean x bar is equal to sigma x i f i divided by sigma f i, which is 12600 divided by 300. 126 by 3, 42 is the mean age, the average age for the passengers traveling by that aircraft. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up at online.maxitude.com to get started with CBC Class 10 Math Online Tuitions. It takes all of 5 minutes and less than 3 steps to get started. And second thing, I want you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.